Welcome back. In this step, let's check out some of the important code generation features which are present in Eclipse. So let's get started with creating a new class. So I'll call this new class. I'll call this person. So control N uh, and choose new class. And I'm calling this person. I'm pressing enter to finish this. We have a person class right now. Let's say this person class had a few things. So string, first name. I don't want to make it private as usual private string last name and let's give him uh, SSN. I'm using a string class. Ideally, they should be using some a custom class like an SSN, for example. We are creating a class with three member variables. So now I would want to generate all the getters and setters for this. How do I do that? I can use Eclipse to automatically generate the getters and setters for me. So it's all shift S on Windows. It's all shift S on Mac, it's command option S or you can do a right click and go to source. So that's where all the things that we would be using are right now. So you can say source and generate getters and setters. Or I could have said all shift S generate getters and setters. And now I can choose which ones I would want to generate. So you have options here to choose a subset of these. So you can either generate only set getters or you can only select setters or you can do a select all. And you can actually now generate the getters and setters. You can do more configuration of them in here. Let's not worry about it right now. All that we would want is the basic getters and setters and click OK. That's it. There you go. So you now have all the getters and setters for that specific thing. The cool thing about Eclipse is it can also generate a lot of other stuff. So I'm pressing Alt Shift S and I would want to now generate a constructor. By default, it's choosing all the fields. So I would want to actually go ahead and do that. And now press enter. So now you'd see that there is a constructor which is created for me. Typically in the case of bean classes, you'd want to actually create constructors and setters always. So in those kind of things, all shift S generating the code makes a lot of sense. Uh, the other method which you can also generate is a two string method. So you can actually generate a two string. So you can actually choose how you'd want to generate two string. I'll use the default template for enough. And I would want to use uh, not string concatenation, but I would want to probably use something like string format and say, okay. Now you'd see that a uh, two string method is also created for me. You can actually even generate the hash code and equals methods. So you'd want to generate a hash code and equals methods. You can see that there's a default implementation for them created in here as well. What we looked at in this specific step is auto code generation features which are present in Eclipse. So we created member variables, we created a constructor using them, we created getters and setters for them, we created two strings equals and hash code methods also by default for them. Those are some of the important things that you need to know about code generation in Eclipse.